What's good, Base Drop Militia? In today's video, we got another product review. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Blink OG2 Torch. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's do it. guys bass drop keys here i'm your friendly neighborhood negro and we're back with another video if this is your first time on the channel you want to see other product reviews strain reviews how to cook with cannabis and all the things that we do right here on the channel make sure you hit that subscription button and the notification bell so you get every notification whenever i post a new video also real quickly i want to thank the sponsor of today's video illuminatiglass.com Use my name, Bass Drop Keys, to get 20% off any order on IlluminatiGlass.com. One more time, IlluminatiGlass.com. They have beautiful bongs, rigs, and recyclers starting as little as $20. Use my name, Bass Drop Keys, to get 20% off your order. Thank you to Illuminati Glass for sponsoring me. I really appreciate it. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into today's video. Today's video, what we're doing is we're going to be doing a product review for the OG2 Blink Torch. Now, you guys know my favorite torch is right here. This is the Blazer GT8000. I love this torch. I've had this torch for like three and a half years. Unfortunately, not because of Blazer's fault, my fault, I've done dropped this so many times. And over the past, say, week or 10 days, it's just really going crazy with me dropping this torch over and over and over and over again. Finally, I messed it up after three and a half years. I messed it up. So my first blazer, my favorite torch right here. I'm gonna keep this torch just to give because it has like memories for me. I got my even my magical butter team MB on the back of the torch. You know what I'm saying? I love this torch right here. But the, the reason why I love this torch so much is because it has all the things that I love about torches. For me, I like the torches that don't have a, a trigger guard, a safety. So whenever you turn on the, the gas and you hit the igniter, it comes right on. You don't have to like, you know, like a lot of Newport torches, you have to, you know, uh, mess around with the, with the uh, safety on it to get it uh, to work. That's a good thing because if you have children, you don't want them to be able to, you know, set something on fire and whatnot, but I live alone. So I don't have to worry about anything like that. So I don't like the, I don't like the torches with the trigger guards, I like for whenever you turn on the um, gas and you hit the igniter, the first time that you hit the igniter, it comes on. Now you gotta click, 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 click. It really, really gets uh, like a little aggravating to try to do it so many times to get your torch to come on when normally it should just be coming on with one click. Also something that I like is I like the size of it and the size of the flame. On some of the smaller torches, you know you have a smaller flame obviously because it's a smaller torch. And I like this big guy right here. So I was looking for something that's in this area right here, but not as expensive. I have a lot of bills that I have to pay at the present moment. I'm gonna be moving to California, it looks like around April 1st. And so I'm saving up money. So I'm trying to save every dollar that I can save. So I wanted a, pow a powerful torch that was something like the Blazer, but not spending as much money. So what I did was I went to the smoke shop, the local smoke shop that's near me. And I picked up this torch right here. The reason why I picked up this torch right here is because if you look, it looks to be, it looks to be the same, the same kind of like model as the Blazer. You see, it's one of the ones where you can see that it doesn't have a guard on it. Like you see right here, it doesn't have a, a thumb guard. It's just like the Blazer where you turn it on, hit the igniter, then it comes on. So I decided to go ahead and grab this one right here. The Blink OG2 torch. So. Without any further ado, man, let's go ahead and then open this up. Now, one thing I did notice about this uh, when I was purchasing it is this one right here is a single flame. Can you see that? You see how right there it has one nozzle? It's a single flame. They say right here on the box that this is a dual flame. So let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. Yep. Oh. Yeah, look at that. Oh, they got the base right here. This is the base. That's easy enough, huh? Stick that in the base. Bam, it's standing up. Well, that was easy. All right. Let me put this up real quick. 
All right, so we got this out of the box now. Yeah, this is with the same kind of, actually the OG2 one is a little bigger. The OG2 is a little bigger than the Blazer is. And as you can see, it does have the dual flame right there, dual nozzles on that guy. Let's see here. So as you guys can see right here, it has a safety on it, but when I say a safety, I don't mean like a trigger safety like I was talking about. This right here just comes off just to protect it so you can't turn it or turn it on. So if you want to call that a safety, this is a safety, but it's not a trigger safety like I'm saying. You know, we have to push the trigger down before you push it in. You just take this off, you can put this to the side, and now your torch is ready to go. Now, of course, we got to put some butane in here. I have some uh, blink butane right here that we're going to put in. Let's do that real quick. All right, so now that we have some butane in here, let's go ahead and turn this on and see if it's going to work out like it's supposed to. Now, like I said, this is the gas right here, and then you have the igniter right here. What's going to happen, what should happen, I hope, is we're going to turn on the gas. You're going to hear it come on. I'm going to hit the igniter, and right away, we should get two flames out of this. Since this is a dual flame instead of a single one, like the blazer. You see that? Blazer. This is a dual. We should get two of them. Let's do it. Here's the gas. Yeah. You lower the gas down. When I lower the gas down, you can actually see that there is two. Look at that. There's two of them. We're gonna turn it up. That's full. And then we can turn it down. So you can use this for welding, or welding, soldering, torching up bangers. Like you know, that's why we use our torches to torch up different bangers or whatnot. So yeah, this blink torch is fantastic. It's big. It's bigger than the uh, blazer. Has a stand on it, has the gas and the igniter just like I like it. Comes on the first click every time. So I gotta say, I like this piece a lot. Now, for the final information that you need is how much was it? At the smoke shop, you know how um, certain smoke shops will, you know they gotta make a profit on their items, whatever. But I ended up paying 30 bucks for this particular torch. If you get a chance to get this torch, the Blink OG2 torch, I did, they did have different colors. They had uh, maroon and blue and red and uh, different colors, green, but I like the black one, so I got the black one. If you're looking for a recommendation of a torch and you're thinking about getting um, a blazer, the blazer is great. I love the blazers ever since like three and a half years ago. I love those. This OG2, I love this. It's bigger than the blazer. It seems to be more powerful than the blazer as well. And the price is right. You know, with the Blazer, even with the, uh, the the Blazer right there on Amazon, you have to pay 45 to 50 bucks to get one of those. These right here, like I said, I paid 30 bucks for it. So if you're looking for a powerful torch and you don't want to pay, you know, the, the money that you'd have to pay in order to get a Blazer, which I love the Blazers, go ahead and feel comfortable getting the Blink OG2 torch. So guys, that's it. Thank you guys very much for watching the video. I hope that this video helped you. Like I said, if you're looking for a torch, this is one that you want to keep into consideration if you're looking for the criteria that I said before. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section and I will most definitely get to them as soon as I see them. I appreciate you guys. Before I get up out of here, I got to leave you with one question. Do you dab? You should. I'm out. Peace.